Mine de vie, lui, ben, il était il y a quelques semaines à Leven et quelques secondes avant qu'il ne monte sur scène, Luc Broca et Eric Perman lui ont demandé à lui et à Madame Willy Deville de nous présenter la garde-robe de voyage de l'artiste. Forgive my wife, she's inexperienced at this. Uh, no, 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 no. No, that's really well. This here is my old Capretta leather jacket. Yeah. The first record that I did called Capretta, that's because of the type of leather. I wear this even though the sleeves are, yeah. you know, have uh, open. What you buy it? Where did I buy this? I bought this in New York, yeah. and it's just very old. You can't buy these anymore. I actually, see the collar is kind of messed up. This suit here is the pants. <clears throat> the pants are very uh, high, you know, yeah. high pants. There's a cummerbund. I don't know how you say that in your language. They call it a cummerbund in America. Yeah. yeah, the pants are very high, and it buttons very low, the jacket. Buttons here, the pants come to here. This is... Well, the color of the suit is like gardenia. You know the gardenia? Like cream. Yeah, cream, yeah. These are uh, uh, ocelot. You know, an animal ocelot? It's not a tiger, it's not a leopard. Leopard was very in vogue for a while. I had a leopard skin guitar, maybe, what, seven years ago? Leopard eight skin? Years, yeah, really? eight years ago. I got the idea, and it was way before any of uh, the leopard pants or leopard was in vogue. It was way before that. And I got the idea from Bo Diddley. Bo Diddley actually had a mink-covered guitar. And I thought, well, if Bo Diddley can have a mink-covered guitar, I should have a leopard-covered guitar. So I did that. But these shoes, a lot of people think they're leopard, but they're not. They're ocelot. Ocelots, are dirt. you can feel that. It's like furry, you know? It's fur. Fur, yeah, it is. Yeah. And ocelots, it's a smaller animal. This here, I glue these on my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> And there he is, just on glasses. No, this is for my guitar. I mean, not a hell of a lot. Uh, okay, we got, uh, very important in Mink de Vildum. You have to have, a, you know, a stick pin. Stick pin is, and you should wear your stick pin, I think, for those who are into uh, hawk couture. Should be uh, very high, you know, I like the stick pin high. I don't know why, it's as I look. These are very inexpensive cufflinks, but because Lisa bought them for me, they mean a lot, you know. Then these were a gift somebody gave me. They're uh, silver and uh, green baguettes. They are not real emeralds. If they are, they were fools if they gave them to me. But uh, you know, that was nice. Somebody gave them, that was a gift. One night, I had a real nice, the biggest cufflinks I had. She got very mad at me because I took them and I, I threw them out at the audience. You know, like, in a year or two, you, you need a, a special truck to, to carry all this, no? Wouldn't you? Just jewelry? Yeah, either for me or for her first. Yeah. I need my uh, leather wrist. And this, uh, this, I only, like, I only wear good gold. I like gold. I like gold very, very much. Silver, I'll show you something. I wear this thing on stage, not this. You see those dots there? Yeah. That's from cheap, uh, it's a bracelet I wear on stage. It's leather and the buttons, the snaps. Yeah. But they do that. I have an allergy to silver. To silver. Even uh, 14 karat gold, I can't wear it. I have to wear 18 or 20 to 22. It's okay, yeah, yeah. 